Bitcoin. Bitcoin is falling. What does it mean and when is it going to reverse? Let's talk about that today at myfinanceteacher.org. And as you see from uh, this trade, I've been informing the members at myfinanceteacher.org all the way since um, uh, late August that I was uh, gradually reducing my positions on Bitcoin because as I mentioned that time, there were a lot of traders that were caught with this significant decline in Bitcoin from $64,000 all the way down to $32,000. Traders got conditioned into buying the dip whenever Bitcoin retests this 50-day uh, moving average, and a lot of them were caught in this uh, more or less 50% decline, which means that once they are getting back to even after incorrectly buying one of these uh, dips, those who were caught and who were experiencing gain all through these several months will try to get rid of their positions, creating a very strong resistance zone for Bitcoin somewhere around these lows, anywhere from a high 40s to low 50s. And uh, that's exactly what happened. Bitcoin has been dropping all the way from low 50s and it's uh, down to the 50 day moving average. So is it time to get back in? Well, um, I'm not getting back in yet, but I think the time to get back in is coming up relatively soon, perhaps over the next couple of days, perhaps over the next couple of weeks. Usually these cycles on Bitcoin last for around an average of a couple of months, and the ongoing cycle so far has been going on for 52 days. So we are relatively close to an average duration, and this cycle might finally end with a cycle low either in a couple of days or in a couple of weeks. So what I'm going to do is when I see a, some sort of a reversal, when I see a green candle, a bit of a bounce, especially from uh, some of these support zones from the previous high, that's around $41,000 up to about uh, $42,500. That's when I will be re-entering together with the members at myfinanceteacher.org. And uh, similarly on Ethereum, the Ethereum cycle usually lasts a little bit shorter than Bitcoin cycles. And uh, right now the cycle is of equal length at about 52 days long. So perhaps Ethereum is also going to finish its cycle anytime within the next couple of days or in the next one or two weeks. And uh, perhaps a bounce from the 50 day moving average, relatively close to that uh, round number of $3,000, which has been support for several weeks in August and September. And that level of about $3,000 is also pretty close to some of these recent highs at about $2,900. So anywhere from $2,900 to around $3,100 at the level of the 50-day moving average is going to be a relatively strong support zone for Ethereum. And if I see a bit of a green candle from those levels, that's when I will be getting back into Ethereum as well. Next, let's have a look at the optimism index on Bitcoin. It's important to observe what's happening to the market sentiment because generally you want to enter when the proverbial blood is on the streets and when everybody is uh, basically too excited, that's perhaps when you want to uh, limit your positions a little bit. So over the last uh, couple of days, Bitcoin has actually come down to this attractive green level of around 20. It's already bounced from that a little bit, but day-to-day uh, -day volatility doesn't really matter that much. So again, anytime within the next couple of days or in the next couple of weeks, as sentiment sometimes goes further below that level of 20, much closer to 10 or even below that. So anytime within the next few days, we might see the cycle low and a bounce into the new cycle in Bitcoin. But before you see a bit of a bounce, there is a risk of catching a falling knife when you see all the red candles. So I'm not entering yet at the moment. Let's also have a look at the crypto fear and greed index, which is right now at 46. And as you see from history, this is only one year history. Usually an attractive buying opportunity on Bitcoin, on cryptos, comes when this fear and greed index is somewhere around the level of 40. Of course, sometimes this fear and greed index drops even lower than that. For example, when Bitcoin drops by 50% from $64,000 to $32,000, but that doesn't happen too often. So the level of 40 is uh, quite attractive on the fear and greed index. And as we see right now, we are approaching that level. So perhaps another few days to push a little bit lower. And that will be a very attractive point, at least in um, my opinion. Whether you agree or disagree, let me know what you think in the comments below. And of course, remember to hit that like button and share the video with your friends. Have a pleasant weekend and good luck in your trades.